So I want to start. Why Oregon? What was it about Oregon that made you want to come here? Yeah, I mean, I think um, during my recruitment process, I was looking for the best overall fit, whether that was having a quarterback, a good offensive coordinator. How can they use me? Um, how can I fit around the team? I think Oregon was the best program in that aspect. And then I wanted to come to a program where I could just help them get over the edge and win. Obviously, Oregon has a good history of winning um, every year. But, you know, I want to be that adding piece to them to help them, you know, reach their goals to the college football playoffs and you know, hopefully win the championship here. You look at so many new wide receivers. How, how are you guys kind of gelling and how are you working behind the scenes to kind of catch up and get up to speed? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of great wide receivers here. You know, leaving um, the school that I previously was at, everybody's asking me, you know, they have a good receiver room here at Oregon. And I, that was one of, the, um, one of the reasons I committed here as well. You know, you can learn from those guys. Um, I was at a program where it was like four or five receivers that got drafted and obviously they're doing well in the NFL now, but just taking my talent here and the knowledge that I have in this receiver room and asking them questions, asking them guys, they helped me off the field with the playbook and, and stuff like that. So I'm excited to see see how we all tell this season. What are you seeing from Trey Sean behind the scenes that we haven't got to see? Um, I think he's a hard worker. I mean, obviously me, I mean, Trey Sean, he, he kind of brought me in um, to the sideline, okay, help me out with the plays. and. I'm asking him, what do you do here and um, press release? And he's asking me certain stuff. So, you know, we can all, all take little small details from everybody's game and put it into our own game. See, that's tough, though, because you are competing for us. I mean, right. all you are for competing spots, but you try to get that camaraderie and work together more so to help each other out. I right, guess. yeah, most definitely. I mean, we are a team. So, you know, going throughout the year, you know, injuries may happen or whatever the case may be. But, you know, I wanted to get as much information from any receiver. I think I could take um, Troy Franklin and put his stuff in my game. I mean, I think we got a lot of receivers that's kind of different as far as physical size, speed, and stuff like that, what we do. But we could take the little stuff that he does good and put it into our game. Do you consider yourself a fit for outside receiver and slot? Kind of where, where's your preference if you have one? Yeah, I mean, um, that was one of the big reasons why I committed to, to the University of Oregon as well, you know, showcasing that I can have the ability to play outside and play inside and, you know, run different routes in a route tree and not be limited to, you know, just playing one specific spot the whole game. So I think that um, uh, both, both spots for me, I'm very comfortable at. So I wouldn't say I have one that I, you know, prefer over the other. For Oregon fans who were not familiar with you at the other place, what do you want them to know about you now that you're a duck? What do you want them to, to know about Yeah, I'm just game? excited to showcase what I can do. You know, playing inside and outside, showcasing, okay, he can take the roof off of defense and he also can run a slam and score in 90 yards. Um, being an aspect to in a special teams game, punt return, kickoff return, and being electric, being excited, you know, getting this team over that edge and being a spark every every week. Talk about wanting to show your versatility, right, and running different routes. What have you seen or what are those conversations with Will Stein been like? How promising is it that you're going to get to showcase your entire game? Yeah, I mean, um, coming in, I was looking at the playbook, going over the plays, and I was just excited. Like, shh, all the plays, the different stuff that they have in the playbook is like, man, I'm, I'm unlimited what I could do. So I think – just running everything in the, in the route tree and then lining up inside and outside, lining up in the backfield, just doing whatever I could do to, you know, showcase that, okay, this guy, he can run routes and he can be explosive in a run game and he can make this block and do everything, everything, the little details everybody wants to see. When you and Tez and Trey Sean all come in together and play the same position, transfer in, do you, like, away from the field, do y'all do have a little camaraderie? Like, do y'all hang out? Do you live together or anything like that? Like, yeah. how do you build that up, that, that chemistry? And yeah, I mean, I mean, Coach, Coach Lennon does a great job of having the guys come over to his house and doing things like that. You know, obviously, this weekend we did we went paintballing with the whole team mm -hmm. and to get that bonding. Um, as a receiver core, yeah, we do we do we do small things, you know, go out to dinner and stuff like that. And outside of the field, you know, I try to try to talk to the guys and pick their brain and go over the playbook outside of outside of when we're at the facility, see what they like, you know, see what they thinking at the line and, right. and stuff like that. Yeah. And you're probably trying you're going through the same stuff together as transfers. Right. right? Yeah. You're exactly. Just trying to you know, catch up and get to know everybody. And, What's that process like? Yeah, I mean, it's a good process. I mean, obviously, I kind of knew Trey Sean. He's, he's a California. He was in California when I was out there in high school. So I got to see him on the market. Um, um, me and Tez, you know, we're kind of new to each other, mm -hmm. just getting to know each other. But Tez, been, he's been wonderful to me um, on the field. He was here during spring. So on the field, he kind of helped me on the field um, when I'm confused about a play. He's like, OK, this is the play. OK, so you know, then outside the field, I always tell him, oh, I appreciate, you know, to help me out on the field. And then outside outside of football, just talking to him, like, OK, what, what is your mindset when you do this and when this play comes? And, you know, what is, what is the, the specific details that Coach um, Junior Adams tells him? And he always shares that with me. So that was pretty good to see. What was Trey Sean like in high school as a player? Um, he, was, he was dynamic. You know, he went to Norbon. I went to Corona Centennial. So we played them guys uh, twice my, my high school year. But he was, yeah, he was a great receiver. You know, he, a guy that can – Take take a catch sixty yards for a touchdown, um, and that's always my favorite thing. You know, what guys can can be explosive and make them big plays, and he was one of them guys. What, 
what about the, the chemistry with, with, with Bo, with the quarterbacks coming in and, and building that too, obviously, because mm -hmm. you know, they're not the same position group, so you don't, you're not in the same meetings right. all the time. What, what's that like kind of coming in and trying to get that done quickly? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a, a big transition for me. He helped me transition here, getting, getting home, making me feel at home. Um, he did a pretty good job of that. And then on the field, I mean, he's a, a phenomenal talent. I mean, his ball and the way he throws the ball, the, the accuracy where it's at is like, Man, that was one of the biggest reasons I came here as well. And, you know, to see him see him want to accomplish his goals at this season and just being that receiver that can help him, you know, get over the edge and win games and, and accomplish his individual goals, but the team goals as well. With, sorry. All right, just a quick follow-up. With, with Just with developing that kind of route chemistry with Bo and knowing he's you're going to be here in that particular if something goes wrong, what, what are some of the challenges of, of doing that kind of – because obviously he's only going to be here one more year, mm -hmm. um, doing that really quickly for one more year. Yeah, just being consistent. I mean, every day going out there trying to run the best routes I can and get separation so he knows, okay, when I do look that way in the read, this guy's going to be open. He's going to feel comfortable throwing me the ball. So just being on the same page as him, asking him um, when we get off the field, okay, how do you want me to run this route? Um, what, what do you see, um, the coverages? When he plays this coverage, do you want me to you know, run it this way or do you want me to break out this way? So just always being on the same page with him is, is going to help me in the long run. When you guys go over to Coach Lane's house, like when he invites, like who's cooking? Like what's what's the vibe like? Is it catered? Like is it is it? Does it feel like you have your coach there? Like, like kind of take me through an afternoon. Yeah, I mean it, it's different. It's different things. Um, the last time, yeah, it was catered food, but I mean everybody's there. Just it feels like a family. Like the the, the biggest thing that I came here, it, it feels like a family. Everybody's genuine, from the coaching staff to the players. It was like they welcomed me with with full arms, and I appreciate the team for that. And um, I think everybody there was like. It's just a family vibe, and everybody's there eating, having fun, and you know that, that's what the biggest thing that I took. Is, is, is he like a memorabilia on the wall type of guy? Like, how how quick after you go into his house do you know what he does? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. He's pretty. He's pretty like a quiet guy. You know, I don't I don't think about it too much. You know, I'm just there for the team, and you know, we go out there and do activities. You know, play basketball, go swimming, or whatever case may be. Don't you want to see him behind the grill? We'll right. Yeah. Most him. definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give, give me some coach. Got... Uh -huh, yeah. Right. How, how fast is Roderick Pleasant? Fast. Well, like, that, that, that boy explain that to me. I mean, I, I haven't seen something that fast with my own two eyes. Um, in person on the football field, I know we during speed training, he kind of lined up against some of the fast guys on the team, and everybody, he got respect from everybody after that race. So when, when you have a guy coming in and it's it's everyone kind of knows him for his speed, or like mm -hmm. you guys kind of like sizing sizing a guy up, like first time you get on the field, like let's let's see what this looks like, like in. in Please. Um, yeah, I think most definitely. I think the guys, you know, I think here everybody's competitive. So when we're when we're out there speed training for the team, some you know some guys want to line up to him and see how see what it is. And I think that he proves to everybody like, yeah, this is for real. It's not just you know no no stats on paper. I really can run fast. Is, is he cocky about it or is no? He he's yeah, he's a very humble guy. Like he he was a quiet guy. Now he's not gonna say too much, but. He knows, like, I can run. <laughs> yeah, he knows he can run, but he's a humble guy, though, yeah. Well, you said you and Trey Sean played twice in high school. Who, how did that go for you? Who, who won? Um, I'm, I, my team won, won the game. I, um, both of them? Yeah, we won both games. Um, I think offensive-wise, both of our teams were good, though. They had, they had a, like, a pretty high amount of recruits on their team as well, and um, we did two on my team, but... Yeah, we won both games. And was you said those high schools were you guys rivals or just just? Um, kinda... no, yeah, no. It was kind of we're we're not even in the same division in high school. It was kind of just you know those games. That, yeah, yeah, like a non-conference game. Yeah, exactly. Were you able Were you able to go paintball in this last weekend? Yes, sir. Were there anyone that stood out to you that you kind of think about a little bit differently now that you've seen them paintball? <laughs> uh, no, nah, not really, not really. I mean, all the guys are out there just doing what they could do. You know, <laughs> not really. What were your opinions on Oregon prior to coming to Oregon? What were your thoughts about the school and the program and the culture, uh, just all of it? Yeah, I mean, they have a, a great culture, a great fan base, you know, and that was my, my a big thing for me coming in here. Um, the fan base was uh, amazing. And then you always know that coming in, you know, seeing the games and here in the stadium. They recruited me coming out of high school, so I got a chance to come to the game and see what they do, you know, during – during the breaks, um, the fourth quarter, the chance they do and stuff like that. So it was always good to, you know, be on this side, be, be on this side of the culture now. Mm -hmm. now yeah, last question. What are your initial um, just thoughts on Eugene as a city? What have you been up to? What have you seen? Food that's good? Other yeah, I mean, I, I think the nature is one thing that stood out to me. I'm, I'm a big nature guy. You know, I like to go go and hike and do stuff like that. Um, the food's been pretty good as well. Um, I found a, a new brunch spot that I like. Um, I go there consistently. So where at? Um, it's in Coburg or something like that. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, not, not too far, like 10 minutes. Okay. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.